Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Now the author in the next chapter, he talks about the angels. So the question we want to ask now is what is our belief regarding the angels? Firstly, believing in the angels as a Muslim is from the pillars of their Iman, the pillars of their faith, which if they do not believe in, then they are not considered a believer. And we believe that the angels are from the unseen, meaning we can't see them, uh, and likewise the information that we have regarding them has to be something which is uh, from the Quran and Sunnah because we can't see them, we can't deduce those rulings ourselves. We believe that they are, have been created from light and that they obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they do not disobey Allah. And we believe also everything which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Quran and Sunnah regarding them. So like the things I've mentioned and also we believe that they have souls, they have um, intellect, they have hearts, they have bodies. We believe in the names that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Quran like Jibreel alayhi salam uh, or Gabriel in English, Israfil and uh, Mikael and also we believe in the uh, jobs that Allah has mentioned regarding them like Jibreel his job is to bring down the revelation we have Mikael his job is to uh, he's in charge of the the rain and we have Israfil who is in charge of blowing the trumpet and also we believe in the other um, angels that have been mentioned and likewise we also believe in the characteristics and their descriptions that have been mentioned such as it has been mentioned that Jibreel has 600 wings so we believe in all of this. So this is a summary of our belief, the belief of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah regarding the angels.